Behind this session, I'm going to go through an overview of the ribbon. So the ribbon is this interface here that has a bunch of your commands. Uh, this ribbon concept got introduced in Office 2007 and it got modified of course in 2010. Uh, it's very different from if you had Excel 2003 and before where they had the, the file menu command bar. Uh, this kind of ex takes it and makes it a lot more visual. And within the ribbon you have these tabs that are similar to the menu bar that you had in previous versions of Excel. So we have our home tab, our insert tab, page layout tab, and within within these tabs you have these groupings. So we have this clipboard group, this font group, alignment group, this number group styles, and within those you can have these dialog box launchers. So when you click on this it's going to launch a pane here. So this is a clipboard pane. Let me go ahead and close that. And if we go into the font group we can launch the format cells window. So it's going to launch other windows or other panes for you to do to add uh, to do more have more features available. Now with these tabs there's this tab here called the file tab where it's the considered the backstage view uh, for Excel and probably the other Microsoft Office products. And here you can do tasks related to the file itself such as printing it, saving it, changing some of the options, save as, or open other files. Now I'm going to go back into the home tab here. One thing you can do with in terms of customizing your tab is you can actually minimize this tab. If you don't if you're not used to seeing all these things here where it's a little bit more visual oriented, you'll kind of like the minimalist view here. You can actually right click oops within the within the ribbon itself you can actually right click and go ahead and click minimize tab. Now if you like keyboard shortcuts, the keyboard shortcut to minimize and maximize the tab is Control F1. So if we press Control F1, and I just press Control F1, you can toggle and bring the minimize the tab and bring bring back the tab. Now there's also other customizations you can do with the, t with the ribbon, such as adding other tabs, uh, adding uh, other commands to the group, adding other groups and adding commands to the group. So if I wanted to customize a tab, let's say for example I do a lot of printing, I want to have a print group in my home tab, I just have to right click here and go under the customize the ribbon and it's going to bring up the Excel options. And so what he, I can do here under this window here is I can enter a new tab. Or actually let's start with entering a new group. Let's say that I wanted to have a print a print group. So I enter a new group here and I'm going to go ahead and customize it. I'll call it something else like print here. And maybe have the print icon next to it. So after I click OK it's going to bring up a print uh, group here. So just similar to like we have a group here now there's going to be another group at the end. And I want to add some commands here. So that in this particular view, I have these popular commands, but let me go ahead and go to all commands. And I just want to add a couple print commands in there. So let's go. This is an alphabetical order. So let me just go down and just add a couple print commands here. Yeah, let's see. So let's go to, let's add print area. I just go ahead and add that. Now you can see that this command is under the print group. Print preview. Let me go and add that. And maybe print titles. I'll go ahead and add that. So once I click OK, you'll see now that there is these, this print grouping here. Now let's say I don't want it at the end, I want to move it over here. Let me just go ahead and right click here, customize ribbon. And you can also, in addition to adding new, tab, new groups, you can also move them around. So if I wanted to move it after the clipboard, it, and I click OK here, you can see now it's added here. But let's say that I didn't want to add a group. I wanted to add a whole new tab that was for the print tab. So let me go ahead and right click, go to Customize Ribbon, and click on a new tab. And let's call this one. Let's call this print. And let's just choose the print icon here again. And now I'm going to have a new tab. Oops. Let me, I selected the group. Let me customize that. Let me call that print. I actually added a new group. Let me go and change it to the tab. So you notice that the, the tabs are the first here and then the groups are the groups are indented out. So let's go to print 
and let's add maybe just two commands in this case. I'll just do a print preview. I'll put it in here and let's see. Now I'll just add that and click OK. You can see now I have a print tab here and print preview under this print group. So that's th that's how you can add the tab and then set up instead of having a group like I did here I added a tab to do it and of course if you can move the tabs around too just like you move the groups around within excuse me just like you move commands around in a group you can move the tabs around if I wanted that below I could move it down if I wanted that last or close to last I click OK you can see now print is the last tab now if you have done a lot of customization and you just didn't like any of them and you want to kind of revert back to the default settings you can just right click here go to customize ribbon and go to reset and once you click on reset reset I was just say reset all my customization so it's gonna anything that you customize for the ribbon gets reset back to the original default so I'll click on yes and click OK you'll see that my print tab disappeared my print groupings disappeared and it's all back to normal. So there you go. Some information about the Microsoft Excel ribbon and how to customize it. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.